You're bidding on a 30 pound, 30,000 pound capacity Braden Picard hydraulic planetary recovery winch. This is a model HUP30, HUP30. It's got 24 volt controls. It's got three quarter inch wire rope. Uh, it's still coated. Doesn't look like this item other than being installed and then taken off and putting in stock has even been used. There's no sign of use on it whatsoever. Um, this cost the government $98,407.55. We believe it is a bumper mount possibly. Pull this thing up so you can you can see. You can see it doesn't look like anything has been hooked up here. It's just uh see three quarter inch. Okay, lay that let that hang. Uh these rollers well it's rolling on here, but you can see they roll pretty good. This is army green or desert green whatever they call it uh, it's got a motor right here that I don't know if you can see it that's the uh, I think you call it a capstan and that there helps you wheel it out and bring it back in uh, not when you're pulling something but if you got to walk the cable out to wherever you're pulling it, you have to, you need it because it's pretty heavy. So I think that motor controls these here. You can see the cable. You can also see here, you can see that it's not, I can't even move that cable, but this here has got grease on it, that spot, that's not from where. And that is what makes the cable wind on the drum. Uh, you've got uh, the hydraulic cylinders here. You can see like they're very fresh, no rust, no oxidation, nothing on them other than they have a grease coating like a wax or something on it. Uh, this cylinder here looks like it pulls this lever here back and forth to wind the rope on the different layers. This thing comes off. It looks like you could, if you don't need it, I guess you could just take it off. Um, there's your hydraulic winch motor here. And here's controllers here. There's another controller down there. Uh, put that box up here so we could see the control box. This is a control box for it. Uh, just some switches, but uh, I'll have individual shots, but winch control, these are all. And Jenner generator switch winch light one lift whatever where's the turn it around and show the back uh, here it is here I don't know what this is for and let me see the side here then we have the side here for oh, floodlights We don't have the cables to hook up, so you'd have to make your own cables. According to the government, this is a functioning item, which should be because it doesn't look like it's ever been used. Uh, but we don't have any of the cables or wires that hook to the control box. 
the uh, these this has got that grease on them or wax whatever you want to call them this could be a, a bumper mount I think I don't know I'm not that familiar with them but you can see where there's a mount there kind of lines up with this I don't know what these are for I'm sure if you're looking at this you know a whole lot more about it than I do here is one of your electrical controllers that work the different solenoids to make this thing operate um, there's your power you can see it's got a plug in it power underneath there very nice unit this has got a shipping weight of 1100 pounds slot do you have a, a ruler i want to measure this thing the tape rule We have two of these units. They're both identical and in the same shape. Both are missing uh, the connecting wires that go from that box to, uh, why don't you measure it from here, from this end across to here. Yeah, 44 inches wide. Give me the uh, from the flange to here. About 35 inches deep. And measure from the flat of here up. What do you got? To the top of the motor is what? 18. About 18 inches to the top of the motor. Um, that's about all I can tell you about it. Uh, you could take one, or if you'd like, you could buy the other one. I'll show you a quick, a quick shot. Here's the other one in the same shape. You can have your choice. But they appear to be identical. Here's the control box. Again, missing the wires. Uh, they're in very nice shape. This is what it is. Good luck bidding.